Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. Who's the Muffin Man? Well, he lives on Drury Lane. Ah. Is the Muffin Man married? Well, she's married to the Muffin Man. Who is she? She. Are you saying there's a Muffin Madame? There is a Muffin Madame. So there's a Muffin Man and a Muffin Madame. Do they have any Muffin children? <laughs> La Muffin Man! <laughs> I don't know if that got picked up. <laughs> I don't. I have no clue what you said, but <laughs> I, I screamed the muffin man. Welcome to the Garlic Boys podcast, where we treat friendship like a good recipe treats garlic. You can never have too much of it. We're your hosts. I'm Connor O'Connor, and I'm Morgan Freeman. Welcome to the Garlic Boys podcast. Fun fact: I definitely love playing Alfred the best. Because I'm Morgan Freeman. Alfred didn't. Uh, Morgan Freeman did not play Alfred. <laughs> I played Alfred and that one guy, Lucius. Lucius Fox. Alfred was played by Michael Caine. I definitely played Alfred as well. And in that one prison movie, with the one guy and me, the only important character. Oh, I also played God in multiple movies. <laughs> forgot about that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I forgot about the time I was the all-knowing <laughs> deity that 73% of the population worships. And I just gave my powers away to Bruce and Evan. <laughs> he did not give his powers to Evan. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Evan was Noah. I remember. I'm sorry. Silly me. This was Jesus and Nevin was Noah. It's a fair exchange of power. What? Qu quick question. Are those movies connected? Like, are they? They are connected. So, um, oh. Evan so was like a sequel his, almost. Sort of. Evan was his rival in, like, the news agency. And then Bruce makes him look bad. And so he, he moves from being a news anchor to being a congressman. You know, that normal lateral move that you make <laughs> in your career. Oh, see, I totally didn't. So I wasn't allowed to watch Bruce Almighty when I was younger. I was, I just, my parents didn't like it. Um, my parents aren't a big fan of Jim Carrey, which is d eh, disgraceful. Um, uh, so they wouldn't let me watch Bruce, Bruce Almighty. And I did watch Evan Almighty, but I didn't put the two and two together because I didn't watch Bruce Almighty until, as everybody knows, I'm, uh, I don't watch anything that's current. So I watched it when I was in like college <laughs> for the first time. Your boy Which was sheltered. Wild. I know. I know. I know. I know. I have so many regrets. And one of them is not listening or not, not doing the things I wanted to do. And it's like, okay, I did. I did do the things I wanted to do. I thought the expectation of me was to like only do Christian things, only watch Christian movies, only listen to Christian music. So I did, and I enjoyed it. I can't. I'm not saying that I was like indoctrinated. I didn't hate it, um, but I missed out on a lot of really good stuff because I was scared to branch out. You know, I think that's one thing that I'm very happy that my mom did mm. was like we definitely had like things that were too too far for us to watch and things that yeah. like she didn't want us to 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 see but like she also kind of just let us like like we the biggest thing is like so i have a lot of christian friends who could not watch harry potter as a kid right and i same. asked my mom once i was like why did you let us watch harry potter and she goes well did you know magic was fake and i go well yeah and she goes there you go you knew it was fake so it wasn't <laughs> a problem like well, she, she was just so chill about everything. I, I, I do want to clarify for um, my mother and mothers like her uh, out there because it is Mother's Day that we are recording this on. True. Uh, I don't, I don't want to demean mothers. Sorry. No, I, I didn't mean that. To absolutely. Be my... Um. No, no, no. But I want to clarify from what I said to my personal mother because I did tell her she has to listen to this episode because it's all gonna be, it's gonna be all about Mother's Day for. Her. Um. 
However, um, I don't, mom, I don't harbor any ill will towards you. I love you. I'm just playing a lot of ketchup. That's all. That's all. And as you know, ketchup is my favorite condiment. So, uh. <laughs> that was specifically a, a personal message to one of our many ish Patreon subscribers, uh, Kelly Joe Hawks, my mother. <laughs> <laughs> little shout out there for you uh fun fact just about what's going on right now the entire time we've been talking ever since i think you mentioned jim carrey i've been looking up the mask on imdb because i'm trying to confirm something <laughs> and I, I like i want to give a fact but i don't know if this fact is real and i cannot confirm it so i kind of <laughs> want to just give the fact just give the fact that's what i do that's what i did with the doritos commercial well, last week <laughs> i think the mask the ma i definitely know the mask is cameron diaz's first acting role she was 21 in the movie really yeah she was also a model before that but like this is her first time ever acting but for some reason i thought this was also the first ever pg-13 movie there's and, no way and now i feel like that's so wrong there's First no way that's true. I can understand PG Cameron Diaz. 13 I did. Film. I just watched another movie with her and Ben Stiller. Cameron Diaz oh. and Ben Stiller. She was very young. They were all very young. I was young. so wrong. I was ten <laughs> years. I was ten years off. Red Dawn was the first PG thirteen oh, movie. Oh, that's a good one too. Yeah, you've seen okay. Red Dawn, but you haven't. All right. My parents. I'm telling you, they they were they were okay with. Uh, anti-communist movies but they were not okay with i'm not gonna let you watch this movie that this guy learns a lesson by getting god's powers <laughs> but here's a bunch of old guys blowing people <laughs> up yeah no um yeah i, I again i'm sorry no again, i'm not i'm not bullying your parents are great not, not at all they're, they're awesome. great Absolutely. Um, they were very inconsistent in the movies they let us, in the media they let us consume. Uh, like I, I could read a whole book about Merlin and watch Merlin-based movies. I could not, however, watch Harry Potter or read any of the books. Well, I everyone knows Merlin is fake. Harry Potter I, is a person. I can see. I him. I had many like serious talks with my mother about the Percy Jackson series because she didn't want me to abandon my faith for a dead faith of the Greek gods. <laughs> Dude, my, my mom asked me one day she's like i want to just check and make sure that like you still believe in jesus because you've been reading these percy jackson books a lot and you've been talking about greek mythology a lot and i just wanted you to know like 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 the gods didn't create the earth like god did and i was like yeah yeah i view these guys as like superheroes like i know they're not real well the way the way that i've always viewed it as that like um, even if, even if, if the very, very long shot, which is not true, but even if you did believe in them, in them, the most they would be, at least to me is like, like just powerful beings, like powerful people and people that, that found a way to be immortal, to live forever in a way. And they just, just really strong. The adversity of death. And became something to aspire to be. The, oh, the yes, sure. That was very dramatic. Um, the way I think about it is <laughs> Thor. Thor is a perfect example. Thor, as in the MCU Thor, he is a perfect example. Oh yeah, all he is is an alien. That's all he is. He's a really powerful alien that people decided, hey, let's worship this guy. Let's worship all these guys. They're really powerful. Why wouldn't we worship them? Did you just watch Nikhil's video? Who? There's a TikTok creator named Nikhil. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about how um, in Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I haven't seen uh, it. I so bad. Uh, I'm, it wasn't directly related to Car uh, Guardians 3. Excuse me. He was talking about how, like, um, in one of his other videos, he mentioned that um, the Celestials are actual gods. Mm -hmm. And they're like, no, no, but Thor's are gods. And it's like, yeah, but Thor is what 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 people believed thor to be is what the celestials actually are right yes yeah that makes sense and just to clarify mom i i, I also know that the celestials aren't real 
I also know that superheroes don't exist, although I wish they that would be did. so cool. I I would I would literally trade every limb on my body just to have a superpower. Every limb, every single one of them. No yeah, arms, no legs, superpower. Now this would be a fun topic of discussion. What superpower could you still like effectively wield with no limbs? Telekinesis. Yeah, but what what really could you cuz like I'm you throwing could... the stapler at him with my mind. I... Jean Grey is one of the most powerful superheroes in the Marvel universe. Okay. She also has telepathic tendencies and okay. she also has a space parasite. <laughs> that yes, I, I think it's I think space parasite is the best but way to explain the Phoenix Force. Aside right? from Dark Phoenix, like Jean Grey is still very powerful, even just with telekinesis. Like obviously, the the telepathy is a big help too. Um, Charles Xavier uses you know telepathy quite often, um, but I feel like telekinesis is one of her big. Her right. big ones right away. You know, Charles doesn't have legs. And exactly. I he doesn't need them. He does actually. Does he really? I, I think know. he it's... always had legs. He's just hidden in a wheelchair. <laughs> mutants, <laughs> mutants are so complicated nowadays because they're all effectively immortal. But I also just saw a video today that said the sin uh, Mr. Sinister uh, reset the continuity on all the X Men and mutants. So I don't know what's going on. I am not fully caught up with the mutants because honestly, the minute they went to Krakoa, I just fully. Bleh. You know, you know what, you know what, um, power you know would what? be cool. The power that would be cool would be well. Okay, first of all, telekinesis. You could literally just like, um, form arms with items, arms and legs, and move them around with your brain, and just pop, pop, pop. You know, but just regardless of that. You could also do, like, if there was some sort of astral projection power where you could literally just, like, create limbs, like, fake limbs, obviously, but you could create limbs with astral projection. That would be cool. Not astral oh, projection. You know what would be really cool is if they what? created a green lantern or, like, some sort of lantern character. Yeah. I, I guess if you, if you got you your, like if you lost your limbs, I think, like, the best one would probably be Rage. And like yeah. through your rage, you regain your your like hard light limbs. Wouldn't that be sweet? Like uh, it could be a necklace. Like they form yeah. to the size of the finger. So like, why couldn't it just be like a choker necklace kind of thing? Well, the the one the cat, I forget its name. Uh, that's a red Dax Star or something like that. Dax Star, yeah, it's on his tail. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It could be an earring. Oh, well, it could be an earring. <laughs> Well, that'd be cool. I'm sorry. We need to move on. We'll, we'll think. We'll think on something. But this Matt, is so was, cool. I love talking superpowers. Making making that an earring is a really clever idea. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was able to do it. Oh they yeah. Said, they said I could it, and then I did it. Who said Welcome you could? The, we we the, literally just said last week that you do it every time. Seamless. The, hate, the haters, Matt. The haters. The ha what haters? Connor, do we have a single person who comments whether it's no. hater or not hater? We don't have anybody. Come we on, do, guys. We, we do get the occasional uh, comment on YouTube about how cool we are. Um, oh, really? If you if you haven't checked us out on YouTube yet, our shorts are pretty banging. I actually haven't looked at them once, not even once, and I I make this podcast. <laughs> please please watch the videos on YouTube. <laughs> it's just kind is of it, depressing. Is it one view per like? A device like if I just sat there and put it on loop, would we get a billion views? I I don't know how the shorts work, but hmm. I'll um, have to figure it out. That's if you thing. just like start the video on your computer and then go to work, like it'll probably That's cycle what I'm through. Them. I was actually thinking about doing that just to yeah. just to boost our numbers, you know, cheat a little bit. <laughs> it's not cheating if it's actually getting watched by something. So we just turn the computers so that Ahsoka can see it. Yes, that's a great idea. I'll just put it in front of her. <laughs> Anyways, we got a quiz this week. Um, oh, shoot. I forgot. Yeah, you're trying to get out of it. Like, yeah, because anyway. I see this the countries behind you, and I really don't want to do this. I really don't. I know what I don't. 
this week's quiz is called you know that one Animaniacs song uh that like goes no, over the country? No, like, no, it, no, <laughs> no, 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 new quiz. All right, find a new one. We're not in doing this that. week's quiz, I'm going to give you the name of a country, and you have to tell me on what continent I can find that country. Okay. Wait, stop, stop, stop. You're thinking it too good. You're thinking it too good. They'll copyright us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If only I knew all of the I I actually know somebody on TikTok who knows like literally knows it by heart. So I considered just writing out like the first like few countries and like singing it like that. But it's like I can't do that well enough. To make it, it funny, so good. the literal title for this quiz is that one Animaniac song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that! You could have at least looked up what they called it in the episode. Uh, you could at least shut up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Are you ready? Um, I can, I can see most of your background. Do you? Do you want to oh, change? Do you think I was going to do the big countries? No, I can see the small ones too. All right, you just you just do you. You just do you. If you if you feel like you can, no, no, if no. you feel like you want to cheat, go for it. It just will all look think less of you. You know. Yeah, sounds good. Look at Nicholas Cage and tell him you're going to cheat. Look him in the eyes. I'm looking. Look how mad he is. Look how mad he is that you're going to cheat right now. Disgusting. Can Anyways. I kiss him? Country <laughs> right on the there nose. You go. Right on the nose. <laughs> Country number one. Country Albania. number one. Albania. Albania. That is ooh, okay. That's there's two two things here that I'm thinking of. <clears throat> Kinda. I know, I know, no, 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 no. I know it's around Russia, I think. Um, I'm like 70% sure it's around Russia. So that would mean it's either in Europe, which is which is part of Russia, is very very close, at least connected, or it's in Asia, uh, which is again d- touching Russia. So Albania. Okay. So do you have a Albania. guess then? <laughs> yes, I do. I do. I'm just trying to think, Connor. I'm trying not to look at your background because I don't want to cheat. Um, I doubt I could see it anyway. It's it's a smaller. Oh, wait, I have I have something I can do. Okay. Well, no, don't change it. I like it. I'm not going to change it. Oh, well, it doesn't I, blur I I... yet. It doesn't blur the picture. Well, I'll just do this and then we can put it back up. Ah, I don't like that. Okay, I would have rather have it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, go with Asia. Final answer. Yeah. Matt, that is incorrect. Was it Europe? It is Europe. It's part of the uh, Balkan Peninsula, which, oh, as really? you're correct, it's technically touching Russia, but okay. there is a good portion of Russia that is technically in Europe. Oh, the most, okay. the, most of the country is Asian, um, but there is part of it that is in Europe. It's the only country yeah. to span two different continents. And That's that is awesome. the only fun fact about Russia, because Russia sucks. Anyways. Hey, 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 but the Russian listeners out there, you might be cool. I don't know. I don't know you. I wish I, I, I don't actually wish I knew you. I'm, I, eh, I kind of do, you know? Digging a hole. All right. Next question. As long as Putin is president, I don't like the Russians. Next one. The Republic of San Marino. The Republic of, that's a country? Yes. The Republic of San Marino. That sounds like that's a that's a country. Yep, a country. That's that's a country. San Marino. It's San one Marino. of those countries that you uh, you find when you type in less no, lesser known country names. <laughs> I just I feel like. I took like I took geography in high school and I don't remember this one at all. <sighs> I'm gonna go with 
doesn't it sounds very much like a but i know all of them gosh this is frustrating i'm almost positive i know all of the the central and southern american countries it sounds very similar to something you would find there however i feel like i know all those countries and i don't remember that one existing um hmm so the other option would be possibly Europe, uh, near Spain or near Italy. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to go Europe. I'm going to go Europe. Final answer. Final answer? Yeah, it is what I said. Yes. Matt, that is correct. Ooh, yeah. And it's really cool because at the end there, you said probably near Italy. It is actually surrounded by Italy. So I believe nice. it's one of the small islands that um, are sort of like near the boot or something like that. The website just said it was surrounded by Italy. And I really don't want to look it up right now. And <laughs> I don't want to elaborate on you, that. Y'all can look it up on your own, okay? Like, <laughs> I don't, I'm not going to do he, everything for you. Honor goes through the, 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 the process of making this very long and difficult quiz he goes through that whole process and you expect him you demand from him that he does more work than that i don't have to make a quiz. i don't have to make a quiz you can literally <laughs> listen to, to us talk literally for an hour straight we don't have to make this fun i'm it, so freaking pissed <laughs> i'm gonna write a letter <laughs> all righty <laughs> sorry dear mr quiz person listener mm. you demand too much from connor oh you're writing a letter to the listener i thought the listener was writing a letter to us <laughs> no i'm like, writing a letter I to the listener right to these quizzes them. I need mean, whoever writes these quizzes to be nicer to Connor and Matt. I was like, Connor's the one that writes the quiz. Dear Mr. Connor Quiz Guy, please oh my gosh. make the quizzes much easier for Matt. Sincerely, every single listener. I've never got one request to make this easier for you. Yeah, well, your own mother scared, once told Potter, me, you know, you can make the quizzes harder. Scared. Your own mother was like, you know, you can make the quizzes harder for me. I was like, I'm trying, Kelly. I promise. The people are terrified of your tyrannical rule over this podcast. And frankly, I am too. I'm so terrified. You, do you want to make the quiz next week? Sure. I'll make the quiz next week. All right. Well, I'll we'll see. The best we'll, quiz next week. We'll see how this quiz goes. How about that? Okay. Number three, mm. Kiribati. What? Who? Kiri, Kiribati. Okay. Um, this that. is another, before you, before you answer, sorry. This is yeah. another situation where if I mispronounce something, I apologize. I did actually look up how to pronounce this, and this is what the pronunciation said. If I am doing it wrong, I apologize. Do still let me know, because I'd love to learn new things and to better myself. Matt, where do you I'm believe sure you do. Kiribati is? Um, I believe it sounds like an african country and to be completely honest i know zero african countries maybe two um but it does sound like an african country so i'm gonna go with the continent of africa for 100 dave final answer final answer i dropped the cap to my dr pepper so i oh, don't <laughs> I think I might have to just chug it real quick. Just be careful not to knock it over. Yeah, that's why I think I'm going to chug it. Oh, by the way, you're wrong. Um, what? <laughs> uh, okay, where is it? Kiribati is in Oceania. Oh, that's Oceania. a continent? So from the research that I found, Australia is considered to be part of the continent of Oceania. Oh. Is like what they're calling it now. I thought it was just be... the Australian continent. Right, and like I could be wrong about that, but really, from what like I saw, it's now just considered Oceania and Australia as part of that, instead of being uh, Australia uh, and Oceania. Right, because New Zealand would be considered that the Indonesian islands. Re really, oh, anything Indonesia. this whole area over here. Are you sure Indonesia's not part of um, Asia? I don't know. 
It might just be like south of Australia. I don't know either. Maybe maybe Indonesia's on this quiz. Who knows? It might be. Who knows? Um, okay. um but it is one of the islands in the um Pacific Ocean. It's somewhere it's it's more close to Hawaii than anything else. Hawaii. I, I think. Um Okay. I think I actually I, see it right there on the left side of the picture. Yeah, I I I didn't get I didn't get like a, a whole uh, yeah south clear indication of where it is, but yeah, it's part a part of the the chain of islands down there, basically southwest of Hawaii. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Okay, alrighty, next one, Guinea, 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 um. Guinea, 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 Guinea is Guinea. You no, know, your boy knows this. I know your boy knows this. Guinea, you know, of pig fame. Haha, <laughs> you're funny. Um, like guinea pig. Oh yeah. Oh, that's what you were referencing. I had no idea. Okay. Guinea. I know where this is. Why are you blanking, Matthew? A good question, buddy. That is a good question. I think it is on the the Asian continent. That is my final answer. Matt, that is incorrect. Is it South America? It is Africa. It is Africa? Really? It is a West African nation. So I think like right in this area, right? This is West Africa. Yeah, it would be. But um, I don't see oh, I am Sorry. What you're thinking of South American is New Guinea. Mm, yep. What? Which is actually where we get guinea pigs from. Um, they are a South American um, rodent. I'm pretty sure Papua is the. Um, There's Papua Alpha. New Guinea as well. Yeah. But. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, give me one second. The darkest. Yes, my alone time with the listeners. As a reminder, I listen to everything Matt says to you all. <laughs> and so it, it takes me a few days to know the secrets, but I always <laughs> know the secrets. No, he never knows. What's between you and me is what's between you and me, listeners. Connor will never find out, ever. I'm going to study the map since he's gone. Um, <laughs> just see if I can... Um, there's oh Papua New Guinea right there. Look at that, man. I know all of this. I actually don't know all of this. This is a very difficult quiz for me. That's why I'm taking all the you know, I'm I would I would consider it um using all of my resources. If I didn't do this, I it would be um it would be a uh a waste of resources, you know? And who wastes resources? The communists. No, they take the resource. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is not a, a political podcast, although sometimes it gets that way. Um, however, I do. Wow, these, there's a lot of countries in this world. There's a lot. Oh, he's back. I can't tell him. Okay. Hi, buddy. Hello. Hi. So how many countries did you memorize? Um, 74. Because I saw you intently staring at the screen walking up, so I know you were looking at the countries. <laughs> no, I was I was intently looking at the listeners uh -huh. in my camera. Do you see? Uh -huh. Look, look, I'm doing the same thing. I'm intently looking at the listeners right there. There's right a there. difference between you. looking at the camera I'm and sorry, looking at the you. screen. There's there's difference between <laughs> looking at your camera and looking at your screen. You were looking at your screen. I was definitely looking at the 
listeners because I had to imagine that you were there. I had to imagine that I was looking at you while <laughs> while I was talking to the viewers. I'm sorry, it wasn't listeners because they can't see me, but I'm looking at you two listeners. Well, uh, let's specifically see if, looking at the viewers. Let's see if Matt's cheating has paid off. <laughs> I wasn't cheating. Cheating cheating is cheating would be not using the available resources. <laughs> That would be cheating. Uh-huh. <laughs> I call it smart. Number five. Armenia. Armenia. That is also... That's a good question. 90% um, positive. Again, pretty sure that's near Russia. Um, but again, we run into the problem where Russia is kind of in Europe, but also kind of in Asia. So where does Armenia fall? Is Armenia Europe? Or I'm so Armenia could also be Budge Nuggets. I hate this quiz a lot. I didn't really try in geography. I just kind of made it up as I went. So did Columbus. <sighs> That's true. That's very true. Armenia. I'm going to go with uh, uh, against my gut instinct, which is probably going to bite me in the butt. Just stick with your gut instinct, Matt. I'm going to go with Asia. Um, final uh, answer? Final answer. That's the word I was looking for. Well, I hope you like getting bit in the butt because that's correct. <laughs> it is? Oh my gosh, yay! <laughs> Armenia is in Asia, specifically the western part in located in the southern Caucasus mountains. <laughs> Caucasus. It's where we get the term Caucasian. Oh, that's cool. Why? Because but because it's said that the Caucasian people descended from the mountains of Caucasus. Right. That's why we get Caucasian. Um, right, but the but we're we're over there in the United States. So why? So. Because we're we're white. Wait, yes, but we didn't all start. Okay, I'm not doing this bit with you. I <laughs> I'm gonna get too upset doing this bit. <laughs> yeah, I love I love when Connor gets upset. I really do. No, you you did this specific look at me that was like, like I don't know, like it, there was just a look that was like I'm gonna hit him in the face. I don't know how, but. If only during Connor this, wasn't an hour away. <laughs> during this fight, I will hit him somehow. I'm listeners, 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 real quick before we go, uh, because I'm thinking about it and I will forget. Um, because my medication doesn't work. Um so I'm buying a house, and once I have a house, I'm gonna have a whole room dedicated to podcasting. So if we can convince Connor to come up here and we can podcast in the same room. That would be great. Listeners, hit me up. Hit Connor up, actually. He needs to be the one convinced. You've never... Not once did you ask me to do this. I don't need I don't convinced. Need I, wouldn't, I don't need to be convinced, Matt. It's an excuse to spend more Connor, time with you. We're a team, and yeah. you, you should be on the same te telepathic wavelength as me. <laughs> That's how it works. We are a team, and you need to know what I'm thinking before I before I ask you, before I say anything to you. You know what? You're right. I probably missed that I telepathic feel like we're wavelength. Getting out of touch. I Connor? think you. I think I missed that telepathic wavelength while I was editing all of the different shows that we do, while you were just sitting there. <laughs> I feel like we're getting out of touch. And don't excuse me. Number six. Omen. Omen. You mean Oman? Maybe O M A N. Oman. Yeah, that's Oman. Um, Oman. I think that's in. I know where it is. Would it be considered this or that? I don't know. I don't know. Cause it's like right there. It's right. It's right where the, the split happens. So wh wh which side is it on? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. You got this. You got this. It is in the Asian continent. 
final Final answer? Yes. Matt, that is correct. Yes. Yes. It was either Asian or African. I could not remember. It is a Middle Eastern country. So, yes, you were in the right spot. I think it's actually right here. Oh, look at that. Yeah. (laughs) Right above Djibouti. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) (laughs) When when, um, sometimes in in youth group, uh, like people at grad parties would do like a a globe. It's like, oh, my gosh, we can go anywhere in the world now. Uh-huh. And like they would like have you sign your globe as like their their book, um, and we always picked one of two places to sign. Like if and like we would check and see if anyone else had picked that country first. Uh-huh. It was always Djibouti and Bangkok. If <laughs> <laughs> we would always pick those two countries, and oh, no yeah. one no one ever said anything about it. Like no one was like, why did you guys sign on that country? It was just like, yeah, that's that's where they signed. And I'm 12. Sorry. Anyways, um. Oh man, Connor's got a nice Djibouti. <laughs> <laughs> I really <laughs> don't. I have. I have out of the two of us, you have the better butt. I don't really have a butt. I at do. All. I do have a. Really you you nice have. Butt. A, you have an unusually nice butt for a guy. Isn't it? I know. I know. But I don't. The thing is, I don't do anything. Like it's just like those people. It's it's like those people that are just naturally super muscular or like right. super. They have perfect bodies and they don't do anything. They just like sit around and and eat snacks and watch TV and stuff. But Ridiculous. I'm sitting here watching snacks and eating TV. And guess who's got a gut? This guy <laughs> watching snacks and eating TV. Yes, yes, that you heard me right. Sorry, give me a second as I write that down for the merch table. <laughs> oh, that'll be a that'll be a fun one. <clears throat> eating TV. Um. However, however, uh, yeah, no, I, I do have an abnormally nice. But it's it's very weird. Anyways, uh, <laughs> ADHD aside, number seven, <laughs> Greenland. Greenland, 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 Greenland. Okay, I know where Greenland is. However, what continent is it on? That's the real question because I don't think it's its own continent. Seven continents, right? There's only seven. Yes. Okay, so there's north, south. Um, Europe East and East West, the four Africa. continents <laughs> the four together, and one, <laughs> one ago, the four, the four continents lived in the Okay, stop talking, Connor. It is I'm thinking, <laughs> um, North America, South America, uh, Europe, Asia, Africa, whatever you said, Oceania, Australia is on, and the seventh would be Antarctica, the 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 bottom. I don't know what it's actually called, but I assume. Antarctica. Antarctica. The continent is Antarctica? Yeah, the South Pole, oh. whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so then it's um, North America. Final answer? Wait. Yes. Final answer. Matt, that is correct. Yes. Okay. All right. I was really hoping to trip you up with that and make you think that Greenland was in, in Europe, even though it's literally right next to Canada. Yeah, I know. I was that that was the debate because it literally says Denmark underneath. I was also I was a little bit part of me was like hoping you would forget which one was Iceland and which one was Greenland. So I um, I've I've known that for a long time because like the whole meme where like Greenland is all ice and Iceland is all green. Fun fact for the listener. Uh, I don't know if Matt already knows this or not, but it was purposely mislabeled by the Vikings so that people would go to Greenland and believing that it was this rich paradise. Yeah. Uh, and it's just a barren wasteland, I think, for the most part. <laughs> That's awesome. um, and and then then hoped that no one would go to, want to go to Iceland, even though that was the one with the lush countryside and basically the hospitable environment. That's amazing. I absolutely adore that trivia. 
it it was just the Vikings trying to trying to be like silly little guys, just just, just silly little heck, fellas, just little doing geese. a heck a heckin' bamboozle, you know. They they those were the Vikings who named that were followers of Loki with that. Yeah, oh, for sure. <laughs> Alrighty, number eight, hmm. the Falkland Islands. Oh, oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. That can only be one. Um, the can you can you repeat the question? What continent are the, the Falkland? No, what continent are the Falkland Islands on? Or a part Falkland? of the, the Falkland Islands? Falkland Islands. Um, okay. The Falkland Islands. I'm going to say, just because I'm not 100% positive, but I'm just going to give a good old guess. Um, there are two places this could be. And if they're not, then I'm going to cry. Um, one of the two that's in my head is Europe. So I'm going to say Europe because I don't know for sure. Europe. Final answer? Final answer. You know what's crazy is I always thought that they were in Europe. Oh, are they in Eurasia? Or not Eurasia. Are they in the Oceania? No, they're in South America. They're in South America? Yeah, they're towards the bottom tip of South America. So, oh. Huh. It's like, uh, yeah, I see him right there. Yeah, that's wild. Okay, well, as we all know, Pangaea was a thing where you know everything was connected at one point. So technically, they 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 could have been part of Asia. One, no, they probably couldn't have. They are too close. Uh, uh, South America connects into Africa, so right, it would have been the bottom of Africa if anything. So yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh. Next one. Next question. Swaziland. S Swaziland? Again, this is another one that I apologize if I'm mispronouncing it. But this is Swaziland. I can spell it for you if that helps. I would appreciate that, yeah. Uh, that is S-W-A-Z-I-L-A-N-D. Swaziland. <sighs> or Swaziland? Swaziland. Calling it Swaziland makes me feel very white. So, <laughs> it's a Swaziland. <laughs> Are there any tickets to Swaziland? Uh, does Patrick Swayze live in Swaziland? <laughs> I don't. I don't think it's Swaziland. <laughs> it could be Swaziland. Um, I'm gonna say Swaziland. Ooh, that actually is a good one. Good job, buddy. Thanks. Uh, um, that's not one of the 74 that I memorized. Um, but I am going to say, just because it sounds to me like it's... Um, it's Sorry, <laughs> I just got really distracted. It sounds to me like it would be somewhere in the middle of Europe and Asia. I'm not sure, but I am going to say Europe because I said a lot of Asia. Final answer. Europe. All right, Matt, that is incorrect. Boo. Okay, where is it? Swaziland? There's no way. If you look down here, you see this green, this light green bit? Yeah. That is South Africa. Right. Inside South Africa and along the border of Mozambique, there is Swaziland. It is a fully landlocked nation. It's a very small nation that is okay. fully surrounded on, like, basically three sides by South Africa and the fourth side by Mozambique. Interesting. Excuse me. I did not know that. Yeah. So that's it's down there in Africa. It's a, it's a small little uh, country down there. Africa's got a lot of uniquely named countries. It's 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 a difficult game to play. What's this this African nation called? Because you have to think about how long they were affected by colonialism, right? And then they also have their own names for these places that just aren't accepted in the Western world. And so, yeah. um, 
these are the names that I had online. If there's a fully different name, like I said, I like learning new things. So if I was wrong about this or this is not the the actual name about it, please let me know. I'm always welcome learning and changing, um, yeah. especially on things that I don't fully understand. Yeah, yeah. He he makes these quizzes like the day of. So oh, okay, uh, <laughs> he does he does minimal research on any of this. <laughs> And actually, on this one, I kind of did a little bit more research because I I was okay. like, okay, is this country problematic or? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say like uh, the USSR because then it would be that would be very problematic. You oh, know? defunct countries would be a fun quiz. Like, no, it wouldn't. Stop it right Where's... now. That would not be fun at all. Craig, write that down. <laughs> Craig, the guy we totally hired to be our assistant. Uh, he's an intern. We didn't hire him. A platypus? That's me, the intern. <laughs> All right. Last Day number one. number three of trying to get Dan Poppin' my <laughs> He's not going to be our friend, man. <laughs> I want him on this podcast. I want him too, but we can't just be like, hey, you need to interact with us. I will. S the squeaky wheel gets the grease, Connor. I will spam Dan Povenmeyer until he listens. <laughs> Number 10, the Federated States of Micronesia. The Federated States of Micronesia? Yes. Never heard of it. So I'm going to go with Asia just because Asia is in the name. So. That's um, it's probably misleading because you are misleading always. Well, I'll just say Asia is not in the name. Micronesia. You just said that. Right. Which Asia is the end of Micronesia. Yeah, is the end of Micronesia. Just think real and hard if you want Asia to be your final answer. I do, because I don't know. All right. Well, that is incorrect. Dang. It Where is, is it? In Oceania. Oh, nice. It is northwest of Indonesia. Oh, I see it now. Look mm -hmm. at that. That's basically Asia. It's not, though. Not by the it's world map. Enough. Well, Matt, you're not in a position to win this week. Ah, However, man. I do have a fun bonus question for you if you'd like to do it. Okay. If I get this bonus question, then I win, right? I win this week. I could <laughs> come up with a, a, a little bit of a harder bonus question if you want to do it an all or nothing. That's I think this one's just too easy for it to be an all or nothing win. <laughs> Is it easy, Connor? Do, do, do you know me? <laughs> do, you, do you really think it's easy? Well, okay, how about this? I'll give you it. You tell me if you think you deserve to win this week based off you knowing okay. this answer or not. How about that? Okay. Yeah, and, absolutely. Then this is by your own integrity and honor. Which I have none. I do. I do have lots. I'm going to be a police officer. Please don't fire me. You don't need integrity <laughs> to be a cop. Um, which <laughs> continent has the second least amount of people? Which continent has the second least amount? Of, how would I know that? Well, the first least is Antarctica. And so what's right. the second least? There is what? okay. I know one hundred percent fact. One hundred. Actually, maybe I don't. No, I'm pretty sure there there there's a lot of people in these countries. Um, so it's not Asia. It's not. I know Russia is a big country, and there's not a lot of people. Like, there's a lot of people in Russia, but like as big as it is, there's not a lot. It's not full, I should say. Um. Europe is a contender because it's small in size. However, ah, <sighs> uh, okay. Also, small in size is Oceania. Australia 
was shipped a lot of people. However, does it make up for the size, the size of all the, the islands included and everything? And then there's Canada. It, it's a small percentage of people that live in Canada and in Greenland, but United States has a lot of people, several million people. Africa's got a lot of people, however, not as much as you would think. Because they're I, I, not all of it, but some of it is like tribal countries, which are need, spread out a lot more than urban countries. I'm going to need an answer here. I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, I'm just going through my thought process here. Um, South America, that's that's got a lot of people. I don't think it's South America. I think I can, I think I can narrow it down to either Europe, Africa, or Oceania. I'm going to go with, against my better judgment, I'm going to go with Africa. I think it's Africa. Final answer. Final answer. Sorry to tell you, Matt, that is incorrect. Which one is it? So, according to testbook.com, uh -huh. the, con the continent with the highest population is Asia, yeah. which shares 59.5% of the world's population. Whew, that's a lot. That's why I ruled it out pretty quick. The, high the second highest is 16.9% uh -huh. with Asia. Africa. Really? Mm-hmm. I definitely wouldn't have guessed that. Okay. Obviously, I didn't. Europe is third with 9.7%. Okay. South America is fourth with 8.5. That's insane. North America is fifth with 4.8. So it is Oceania. And Oceania is last on this list. And so I clarified it's the second least because, of course, uh, Antarctica being a continent... It has the least amount, but for this list, at at only totaling 0.5% of the world's population is Oceania slash Australia, which has 41,261,212 people. That was actually going to be my second guess. That was the one I was tied between. I did not think Africa had that much, that many people in it. That's wild, but okay. Um, and... It says that this was last updated on April 1st of this year. Okay. So, yeah, that's fair. Um, April 1st, 1926. <laughs> what? <laughs> so just to, just to give you the data I use and where I got it from and all of that. But Matt, unfortunately, what that means is that you do not win this week. Um, which means that you stay at being... Is du clever? Nein. Even though I won last week, and it's totally unfair because I dominated Sean. Yes, but <laughs> was not a clever boy quiz. That was a guest yeah. quiz, and you know the guest yeah. quizzes don't count. Okay. They only count on my roster because I don't normally take quizzes. Uh-huh. <laughs> but that was this week's quiz. Um, listeners, we found out something fun as we were talking before the show. Turns out Matt and I decided on the same topic for this week. Oh, yeah. And we were going to talk about, we were going to talk about our moms. Told you, telepathic wavelength. We are recording this episode on Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. So first off, uh, shout out to all the moms out there. Uh, specifically, Cindy and Kelly. Um, yeah. What? What did you no, have to think about that? that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because there's a lot of moms we could shout out. All right. Do you want to shout out? Shout out the moms you want to shout out. All the moms, <laughs> every single one of them on the planet, even the moms you... that moms to dogs and cats and uh, other 
pet animals. Those moms too. You literally have twelve sisters, most of which were <laughs> children, and you didn't you didn't think of okay, a single right, one right, of their all names. Right, all right, all right, all right. I'm not There's... saying you have to shout out your sisters. I'm just saying when I gave you the opportunity to shout out anyone, Happy you Mother took a beat Day. and then went every ma. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to my sister Katie. She's great, and she's she's as much of us. Uh, she's she. Happy Mother's Day. Second, <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to my sister Jenny. She ain't no longer here, but she's still a mom. Happy Mother's Day to my sister Amber. She's got a baby, and it's cute. Happy Mother's Day to my sister Megan. She's got two babies, and maybe a little some some on the way. Very cute kids. Mm -hmm. uh, happy birthday to my sister Heather. She never had any babies of her own, but she is a stepmom to lots of little babies. Well, big babies. They're they're adults. Um, happy birthday. Uh, me. <laughs> happy Mother's Day to my sister. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> happy Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> to my sister Lisa, she's got lots of kids. Uh, wait, hold on, four to be exact. Um, and they're all my nieces and nephews. I mean, all the other kids were my nieces and nephews too. But um, <laughs> they're uh, ha happy Mother's Day. Um, happy Mother's Day to you. You brought this upon yourself. Happy birth. Happy Mother's Day <laughs> to. <laughs> To Nancy, to Nancy, who is oh, the mother shout out of to Nancy. Yeah, shout out to Nancy. Happy Mother's Day to my girlfriend's mom. Happy Mother's Day to her mom. Um, happy Mother's Day to my grandma. Only surviving grandma left. Uh, tears. Um, happy Mother's Day to my aunts. All three of them. Aunt Marcy. Aunt Katrina, Aunt Shannon, Happy Mother's Day. I think that's all I could think of. Happy Mother's Day to Riley Dodge. She's got a baby now. Yeah. That's they, weird. they did a photo shoot together and know, matching cute. shirts that says my first Mother's Day. Mm, it was very cute. Happy Mother's Day to you, Connor. Thanks. I'm not I'm not a mother. I'm just Well, you will be someday. It's okay. A Everyone takes mom it in who their works real hard, who loves, who loves her kids. kids, it never stops. It stops. <laughs> With gentle hands <laughs> and the heart of heart a fighter. fighter. I'm a survivor. You're a survivor. Uh, okay, I guess. Um, happy gotta... Happy Mother's Day to Reba. Yeah, Happy Mother's Day, <laughs> Reba McIntyre. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll I'll do mine. Yeah, who you got? You know, um, happy Mother's Day to, to Cindy, my mother, greatest of all time. Mm -hmm. um, happy birthday to... Er, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's what I was doing. Happy Mother's Day to my sister, Jocelyn. Happy Mother's Day to Courtney. Uh, she yeah. she has she has a kid. Um, happy Mother's Day to Kelly, uh, your mom. Because I already said happy I, Mother's I Day. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing my shout out now. I didn't interrupt you. Uh uh um uh oh I, I know I know more women. Um uh, <laughs> uh I'm sorry, that was good. Uh shout out to my uh coworker JB. Uh mm -hmm. she's also a Patreon supporter. And uh, yeah. she uh, she has a son, um, and she has fur fur babies. They just got two new golden retriever puppies. They're incredible. Nice. Um, uh, you, you know, um, shout out to Mary, uh, Mother of Jesus. Um, <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to Mother Teresa. Um, and honestly. Honestly, we miss some. I'm sure some of you are sitting there listening. You're saying, hey, I'm like literally best friends with those two guys. Why didn't they say my name? It's because we forgot and we have bad memories. We love I, you still. Happy Mother's Day to you too. I know. I know. I know more people that are moms. Um, oh, 
I mocked you so much, but this is so harder. This is so know, much harder. Than... I know. Thinking of it on the spot is just. I guess shout out, Happy Mother's Day, Nana. She's she's no longer with us, but she she was she was a mother, and I loved her. She was happy my grandmother. Mother's, happy Mother's Day to Missy, who I know you I know you're listening. I know you're listening, and you you've been you've been wanting a little bit of a shout out, and here it is. Happy I also know Mother's who Missy Day is. Happy week. birthday, Missy. Not birthday, happy mother. No, nope, happy mother's day, Missy. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, whatever that birthday is, but mostly I'm, happy mother's day. <laughs> I'm really bad at this bit, and I <laughs> uh happy uh, mother's day to Nicolas Cage, who is like a mother to me. I uh drank milk while watching one of his movies, so it's close enough. Let's talk about solid movie moms how about that solid movie moms uh mrs incredible mrs incredible absolutely uh, incredible mrs doubtfire mrs doubtfire yes um i uh uh the um, mom from treasure planet uh mrs hawkins hawkins i don't remember her uh, first name sarah kathy, maybe kathy bates and the water boy Kathy Bates in The Water Boy. You know Absolutely. what? Shout out to Kathy Bates. I don't know if you're a mother, but happy Mother's Day, Kathy Bates. She, I, I think she is a mother, and even if she's not, she's played so many mothers on television that she's basically a mother. Right. So, um, happy Mother's Day, Kathy Bates. Happy Mother's Day to, uh, to the... Jenna Fisher. Jenna Fisher, who's the mother of some swell children on The Office, and maybe yeah. in real life, but I don't know. I think so because they they I think they wrote her pregnancy into the show. Happy Mother's um, Day to Chief Vic. Yeah, because that was a real pregnancy. Happy Mother's Day to that one lady that I can't remember her name from the rookie from the rookie. She's a mom. She, she had is a, a baby. Mom. She's pregnant again. <laughs> Cool. I'm not caught up with the show, but thanks for that. Um, In real life, I mean, she's okay. It doesn't matter. Uh, um, do we have to keep doing this? Oh, Happy wait. Mother's Day to the mom from Phil of the Future. Happy Mother's Day to the mom from Good Luck Charlie. Happy Mother's Day to Karen from Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. Oh, Happy Mother's Day to the mom from Wizards of Waverly Place, who also voiced Hot Girl on the Justice League cartoons. Yeah, look at you. Happy Mother's Day to Laura Bailey from Critical Rule. Happy is she a mom? I'm pretty sure. Happy oh. Mother's Day, Laura Bailey. Even I'm if you're not a mom, sure. you're a mom in yeah. heart. No, because I watched a video where the baby was kicking and uh she was sitting next to Sam Regal and mm. like he was like weirded out by it and like yeah. uh <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to Teresa Palmer, who I just recently figured out a couple episodes ago is the actress who is in The Sorcerer's Apprentice. <laughs> She's a mom. She's definitely a mom. Happy Mother's Day to Pepper Potts. You know, um, Potts. You, you and Morgan Stark are out there just chilling in life. Happy Mother's Day to Scott Lang, the best mother of all. Happy Mother's Day to Rachel Weiss's character in The Mummy 2. Absolutely. Uh, uh, if you have not watched The Mummy 2, banger. Do it. It's a Happy banger Mother movie. Happy Mother's Day to Zuko and Azula's mom. She was taken against her will and then she fled and hid for the rest of her life. Happy Mother's ha Day. Happy Mother's Day to Kaya, who willingly sacrificed herself so that Katara could live. Happy Mother's Day to Katara for uh to, for siring three great children. Happy Mother's Boomy, Day to Tenzin and Kaya. I know that one. Oh, you remember that now? <laughs> I do remember it now. Happy Mother's Day to Toph for giving us uh, uh, Lin Bei Fong and uh, her sister. Happy Mother's Day to Arwen from the Lord of the Rings. Happy Mother's Day to Buttercup from 
Princess Bride. Was she a mom? Did she? No, I, it never I said if she so. had children, but you know but what? I can assume I think she they're was. perfect. They had perfect children. They would have had perfect children. Happy Mother's Day to both Martha Wayne and Martha Kent. Happy Mother's Day to the moms of the McElroy family. I definitely remember her name, but I'm forgetting it. Um, Rachel, Sydney, and... Oh, those moms. I meant more the moms of the brothers. Oh. The mom of the brothers. However, yes, Rachel, Sydney, and... I know you. Uh, oh, Teresa. Teresa. Yeah. Happy That's Mother's Travis's Day to you wife. Yeah. Uh, I think we've gotten every mom. Every mom on the planet. Every, every single, single one has mom. been named. Happy Mother's Day to the mom of the kid, the guy, the person, the gal... Whoever you are in Brussels, happy Mother's Day to that mom specifically because you made a great kid. And if there's anyone out there that's listening that we're not quite sure who you are and your mom, happy Mother's Day to you. Thank yes. you for listening. Absolutely. Happy Mother's Day. This bit went on exactly how long it should have. That was a perfect bit. Yeah. And I think there's nothing else we could do this week. You know? Yeah, we had the same topic. So <laughs> Definitely well, not. Gang, thanks so much for listening to this week's episode of The Garlic Boys. If you'd like more from us, you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. You can also subscribe to our Patreon, where you can support us and find exclusive content. You can also watch our video versions of our podcast up there on YouTube. It is free. Uh, and you can f find us at uh, youtube.com slash thegarlicboys. And also be looking out for our new weekly show that drops every Tuesday called TGB One Shots. So exciting. this is our D&D uh, &D, TTRPG role playing, whatever you want to call it, game where ourselves and three of our friends um, go through different adventures every week as new characters and explore the realms as we become adventurers in the golden vault yeah it's a fun yeah. show we've put a lot of work into it um uh shanio who was on here last week they are the dm for it and two of our other friends are it's just uh vaptor like raptor and mug it's just an incredible show mm -hmm. and if you like what we do here i'm sure you're gonna like that and you should really tell your friends about it yes uh, first episode is out now. Um, you can find links for that on the descriptions or just search TGB one shots on wherever you get podcasts. All right, Matt, any final thoughts? Go into the world as Morgan Freeman would go into you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't think of a better note to end the episode on. I didn't Thank mean you to so say much that. for listening to this week's episode of the Garlic Boys. And remember, as always, to <laughs> stay <laughs> garlicky. <laughs> Do you feel I'm proud sorry. of yourself? Are you proud I of just, yourself? Because I just started saying the words and they just came out before my brain could process what I was trying sure. to say. <laughs>